do. Is this, I asked Matthew this too. Is, is this a key stretch for you? Do you, do you need to prove some things Myself, here? This is, personally? Yeah, and the uh, team. Uh, every year is, uh, is a make or break year. You know, you're kind of one-year contract, one-year contract, um, trying to work your way up from different leagues. And I've been lucky to be in the same organization now for, for a couple of years, but that doesn't mean that I'm resting on my laurels or, uh, you know, saying, look what I've done. I'm always looking to improve and um, show that I have continued to improve. And uh, I'm looking forward to having an opportunity to do that with uh, competition that it's unlike anything I've ever really seen at this level. It's uh, it's pretty incredible how many guys we have here that are capable players and will be battling for roster spots. And I think that's going to make for a good culture because nobody can get comfortable no matter uh, if you're a first-year guy, fourth, fifth-year guy, whatever the case may be, you're going to have to bring it every night because there's three, four guys that are waiting behind you for their opportunity. How much excitement is there then to get out there and see what this group can do with all that uh, competition already? It's really exciting. Yeah, I think uh, we'll have to bring some guys along, uh, some, some young guys. We've got a ton of energy. We've got a ton of uh, talent, a lot of speed. So it's going to be exciting. I think we have uh, capable players that can really take, uh, take us to a level that you know, could potentially see us playing all the way until June, which is you know, what the goal of every season is. So um, looking forward, trying not to get too far ahead of ourselves, but um, you know, that's the ultimate goal. What was the key to the goal drought a little bit from last season, do you think? And how do you make sure there's no residual layover from that? Or what can you do to score more goals? <laughs> <laughs> well, last, last year was kind of, I felt like I was, I've said this a couple of times, just like pushing a boulder uphill. Every time I would get a little bit of momentum, I missed time for an injury or, um, you know, kind of playing with different guys and trying to fill in different roles and, um, I think with the talent that we have here, we're going to have the puck a lot more. I think, uh, you know, last year I think we were the lowest scoring team in the league and we didn't generate very many shots and didn't generate many many rebounds and that's kind of where I like to score my goals is in front of the net. And, uh, if we can play in the offensive zone and have the puck more, I think that uh, I'll have more opportunities and, um, you know, just looking forward to getting off to a, a good start and, like you said, put the puck back in the net. Is there a different mindset of um, the team as a whole when it comes to just being aggressive or attacking more, or whatever it takes to get more pucks in the net? Uh, I don't think so. I think we're just, like I said, there's so much competition and there's so much speed that whoever is going to be inserted in the lineup, you know, we should have energy every single game. Um, you know, I think we're, we're not looking to one specific player or one specific line to generate offense. I think even our fourth lines are going to be you know, chock full of talent and capable of scoring. So uh, I think we'll have to figure out some roles as we go along. But, um, you know, everybody's capable of scoring. It doesn't really matter where you play in the lineup. You're going to have opportunities to play and show your offensive game. What was the reaction in the locker room to the news that uh, Versteeg's the captain this year? It was, it was exciting. You know, I think it was pretty much expected. Um, when you look at the guy who's got the pedigree that he has, a couple Stanley Cups, and is the kind of person that he is it's it's really no surprise that he was the choice and i um, really looking forward to having him around and learning from him uh, on a day-to-day -day basis and i think he's going to be great for us in this locker room you're wearing a letter as well congratulations you've worn it a couple of times now but i mean what does that mean for you in terms of leadership role adding to your resume off the ice as well as on the ice yeah i appreciate it it's uh you know it's something that i really think i relish in is uh you know, being in, uh, in a leadership position on the team. And we got a lot of first year guys, a lot of new guys, uh, new faces to the organization and to the team. So uh, I think it's my job to kind of help bring everybody along into what it means to be a Rockford Ice Hog, a Chicago Black Hawk organization member and um, how we want to play on the ice will we'll kind of dictate it throughout the course of the year. And uh, like I said, if I can help out in any different way in terms of communicating uh, and, and just making it clear what we expect in terms of work ethic and all that stuff, character, then, uh, then I think I'm doing my job. I don't have to change too much. I think, you know, when you're selected to be uh, in a leadership position, it's because you're doing the right things already and you don't necessarily have to take on, uh, you know, the weight of doing everything else.